Hello, everyone. Hiya. It is Sid and V. With Judicious Mockery. And we are back with some more Nancy Drew. Danger Danger on on Deception Deception Island. Island. When we last left off, we managed to finish off Scotto's notoriously difficult quiz that definitely didn't just have every single answer look up on the website. We also had to catch a crab? Yep. Yep, we had to catch a crab, which, you know... That's a weird thing to ask us to to bring you a live crab, it's but a, I it's guess it's a weird one. But whatever. I, I think he. I, I think that he didn't actually care. He just wanted to know if we knew that we it was illegal to catch. Like I don't remember which one it was, either female or male. I'm just saying it could have been like a draw. What a male, you know, like. No, that's too easy. Yeah, he wanted this to tr- feels like entrapment. He wanted to trick us into committing a crime. Anyway, so um, we did that. Yeah, we did that. Then we managed to. We got the GPS <laughs> and we. We kayaked around. Um, Got a bunch of messages in bottles. Got a bunch of messages in bottles and eventually worked our way to this secret island. It's uh, Hilda's Island over here. We uh, made a sandcastle. We Very important. Very, very critical. We broke into a box. And eventually we found a note. I I think we have the note here. That we had to decode using military Um, terminology. What was this note? Yeah, and so we decoded this, and we found out that we need to ask HS, AJ, and JD. Hold Andy and Jenny. Which is all of our characters except for Katie, um, for Hilda's gift. Didn't know what that is. So, and then Hilda wants us to send her something, presumably this gift, from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code. Can doozle. So it seems like that's where we are headed. So let's uh, let's go talk to people. Let's go talk to some people. What a great spot to leave off. Now we get to talk to people. We get to talk to people. What? Don't don't, don't die. But did it do this last time? Did it like show like a little transitions? I I feel like I don't remember it doing that. Last no, I think time. so. I think that's normal. Um. Okay. There we go. We have made it in. Forget her. No, we don't care about Katie. She's don't not... forget. Don't forget your helmet. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the other thing that we did last time was we died, died basically in every ways. conceivable way. Yeah. We're getting every. We're going for the every game overrun. The completionist run. But let's go ahead and make our way to the cafe. I think I said this in like our first video of this game. Maybe not, but this soundtrack is one of my favorites of all the games, and sometimes I listen to it at work. I think that you, I think that you did mention that you remember really liking the music from yeah. this game. It's really nice. It is all right, here's two good. of the three. Two of the three. Let's go. Let's talk to Jenny. Please. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Did Hilda Swenson? She's so just direct. going for it. She made a necklace for me. Prettiest thing I own. I'd show it to you, but it's at my house. How did you know she gave me something? I'm psychic. It's kind of a long I'm gonna story, steal it. but I'd really love to see that necklace. Problem is, my home's across town, and I'm real low on clams, which means what? I've got to go clamming before I can even think right. about doing anything else. Right. Well, we got a new job. Why don't I go clamming for you? Okay, if you get the clams, I'll go get the necklace. That's a you crazy thing. Just bring it tomorrow. It. It's limit anyway. Nope. But you also need a permit. Claim? Andy Jason. Can oh my you God! One. It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it though? What a wild! So we have to go and get a permit, and then we have to go catch. We the just and then picked we have to up. Bring a... it back, and then we have to wait for her to get the necklace. I forgot. Why don't we just go to your house and get the necklace? I forgot that people look at you and you mouse over them, and I accidentally moused over Holt, and then I just look at the screen, and he's staring into my soul. Wait, Bill, check out this music though. It's so good. Okay, you know what we need to play? What? This is this is gonna be a future thing that we'll do. Okay. Um, and I know that we've talked about this before, but we need to play some Zelda games on here. Yeah. And I know that you've played some Zelda games, uh-huh. but one that you have not played that this music is, and I'm people that are listening to this probably already know where I'm going with this, but this music is so Wind Waker. Ooh. It's very Wind Waker. Is this, Wind like, Waker on a boat? It's yes. very nautical. Yeah. Yes, Wind, Wind, Wind Waker is, is very nautical. Th- this song specifically is reminding me. I'll play it for you afterwards. Yeah. But it's reminding me of like the um the main theme of Wind Waker, like the title theme. Incredible. You again? I understand so rude. that Hilda Swenson gave you something. So what if she did? This guy's our biggest He's fan. so rude. He is our biggest That's fan. That's a lot of flavors of syrups. 
lot of flavors of syrups. Do you think I could see it? Tell you what, this chest problem I've been working on is giving no! me No! Here, solve it for me, and I'll let you see what Hilda gave I'm me. I'm tired of these people. Just do something nice for once. No, that's not how this works. Uh. Feel free to look at the chess book in my duffel bag if you need help. No. Let me know when you're through. I can do this can without your stupid chess. chess book. Forget it. Identify two moves that White can make to win the game. Okay, so. Oh, I just did something like this. White in wants to game win. To date myself. So, what? But you just did what? I just did something like this in Baldur's Gate to date this video. Oh, nice. We'll so, so we want to take the king there. White can make to, to, to put them in checkmate. Yes. Um. So, the pawn isn't going to be able to do anything. No. The pawn. Well, if the pawn moves up, then um, that would mean that the king could move. Remind me, is rook diagonal or is bishop diagonal? I know one is left or right or up or down. Um, rook is can go as many spaces as it wants in a straight line. Okay, and and. I know what knight does. Bishop is diagonal then. Bishop can move. Is it as many spaces at once diagonal? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, knight is, knight's easy. Knight is like the two and one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, pawn can just pawn, move one. Right. And then it can take diagonally. Right. King can move one in any direction. Um, and that's, is that a queen? Or no, that's another king. Or, yeah, yeah, that's a king. Okay, so if this pawn moves here, which is the only move that it could make, then the, the king, king takes it and could it. could take it. But then if the king takes it, this uh, rook would take the king. Okay, so then the but if the king doesn't take it, the king could move there. In which case, the rook can't. Can can the rook skip other pieces? No. Okay. I don't think so. So it would be safe if it moved there. So that's not going to put it in. Yeah, that's not it. But we get two moves, keep in mind. But whatever. Oh, I, I, I thought it meant two. I, I didn't think it meant like move one, move two. I thought it meant two one options. One for checkmate and two to win. No, I thought it meant two options. Like what are two possible, like could you could either do this or you could do this. Oh, I don't know. I steps. interpreted it as like step one, step two, and then they're in checkmate. Well, but the problem about step one, step two is, is we don't know they how they're going to move. in between there. Yeah, right. I get you. I get you. So I, I feel like it has right. to be two options. So, okay. So we know that moving the pawn isn't going to work. So then moving the rook, the rook could move here, in which case... The king it can take it, but then the, if the it's king a risk moved from the there, pawn. it's still in danger. It's still in checkmate. If it moved there, then the bishop could take it. Yeah. So the king doesn't have anywhere it could move. So we could do the rook. Good. To space h five. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Rook moves to h five. So black. Oh yeah. Move here. Okay, so because that's oh. the only place it would move. Yeah. Okay, so it is telling us. Okay. Okay, In which and case, what if then we need to do... Okay, I see what's happening. So then yeah. we need to do... Um, if we do the rook to there, then if the king moves there, it's in danger. The rook can still take it. If the king moves there... It's in danger from A8. Yes, you're right. If the king moves there... It's in danger from A8. If the king moves there, it's safe. It's safe. So, so that's but, not it. But if we move the rook here instead... Then it can't move sideways, it can't move back, it could only move forward. If it moves there, 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 it's in danger. If it moves there, it's in danger. If it moves there, it's in danger from a bishop. And yeah, if it moves there, it's in it. danger that's from a rook. So rook to h7. Perfect. Yes. There. Checkmate. Nailed it. All right. So yeah, you, you were right. It was two. It was yeah. two steps. I didn't realize that they were going, but we could have actually figured that out because that was the only place the king could, could move, move to avoid right. yeah. um, check from the last one. Done with Here's that your puzzle. Problem yet? Yep. Check it out. We're done. Right as rain. And to keep up my end of the bargain, here's what Hilda gave me. One Handles bum. Made of scream one shop. bum. She carved it herself. Scream Never shop. would tell me why she wrote one bum on it like that. Of course, this was after her husband died. Yes, your mind was starting to go. Thanks for letting me see it. 
See you around. Watch out for Caddy. Okay, so yeah, we should we should bum. write down one bum. I feel like all their objects are gonna have some text on them. I agree. All right, so let's go to Andy Whale World. and Whale World. <clears throat> Whale World. We can both World. get a permit and a clamming permit and talk to him about his item. Yes. Hi, Nancy. I need a clamming permit. Jenna said oh, I could Jenna, get one from you. Oh, Jenna, not Jenny. Ordinarily Jenna, you could, sorry. but permits mean paperwork, and I'm kind of busy right now. Of course, if someone wanted to volunteer to help me... You just got no. yourself a volunteer. They're inside also that transactional. Box I know. Is a miniature of what our resident sea monster might look like in skeletal form. Assemble it for me, and I'll not only give you a permit, but I'll throw in a free clam tube. And remember, whales rule! What is a clam tube? A clam tube? What's a clam tube? I assume it's what you use to capture clams. It, the, the tube seems like a weird choice, no? No, I think that's normal. Okay. Finally going to do this. We've been waiting to do this the whole time. And he, keeps tell, he, kept, he kept telling us, don't touch that. <laughs> Even though he wanted it done. Oh, huh? no, no, no. I've looked up a clam tube. It's something hmm. that you use to extract clams. Hmm. Something that you use to extract It's like clams. a suction okay. thing, and you like pull Good. it up, and the clams get sucked up into the tube. Okay, very interesting. Uh, um, we know where the tail goes. I don't... I was going to save the tail, but fine if you insist. Good. I like to be helpful. No, you're not helpful. Oh. You are unhelpful. Oh, no. Bingo. We know where the pelvis goes. <laughs> nah. No. Nah. Not like this. We don't know where the pelvis goes. Nah. I'm sorry, that's on me. We know where the belly goes, nah. though. Well, hmm. where the belly is this the belly? Yeah. Hmm. Flipper, flipper. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Are you sure? I'm getting ahead hmm. of myself. I feel like nah. you're having a lot of confidence. Hmm. Okay, let's go with the vertebrae. Nah. No, flip it, flip it. No, I was wrong. It's like at the wrong nah. angle. Nah. Nah. Stop. I feel like if it turned in the center there, I think. Nah. This is hard. Nah. No, in the no no no. Hmm. Like I mean pick up the piece nah. in the center, I think. This piece? No more, 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 more. To the left, to the left, to the left. Yeah. I feel like that's Ooh. No. This is so this is very difficult. Yeah. Nah. Okay, try again. In that, well, nah. left, 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 three from the left. Yeah. Is that nah. anything? Hmm. Okay, I'm bad at this. I. Hmm. This is very yeah. hard. Nah. Cha you've, you've embarked on a real challenge. This nah. is why he didn't want to do it himself. Nah. Like, I get it. I get it, my guy. Nah. I truly hmm. have no idea how to go about this. This is a crazy puzzle. I don't know what the skeleton of a... If you what, ever get frustrated, if you ever get frustrated, I can take the reins. Nah. We can swap places. We could swap places. I have no reason to believe that I will be better at this, but I can <laughs> at least diffuse some of the frustration. Where hmm. where would this go? I feel like it's more nah. If oh yeah. Yes. 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 Of course. Of, of course. course it would be there. Obviously. How foolish we are for Stupid. not piecing that together. That nah, can't be right. I'll tell you right now that's not right. Nah. No. No, 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 no. You're nah. all wrong. Hmm. 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 God. Hmm. <laughs> nah. Good. Yes. Hey, okay. We're getting somewhere. We are. Hmm. 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 I don't believe that that doesn't go Good. there. Good. Okay, there we go. I was I was going to say I really didn't believe that. Hmm. Nah. 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 
Um, so we need something that has like an angle to it. Bingo. There we yep. go. Okay. And then what goes here? No, I feel like it's that nah. small chunk. This one? Yeah. Nah. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe. Good. Yes. There we go. Okay. Um. Nah. Nah. Hmm. We're getting crazy with the stack. It's got to be this one because there isn't enough space for yeah, this one flipper. when you get down the. Good. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then the big one, right? Bingo. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got it. You got it. And then that one and the other. Oh, yeah. See? Jesus. Wow. Am I a creative genius or what? Easy money. Apparently, you're no a creative genius. At all with that. Apparently, that's what's happening here. All right. Let's go get our permit. And then we separately Hi, need his item. I finished putting that display together. So you did. Caddy never looked better. Here's your permit, and here's your clam tube. Clam tube. Look for go. little holes in the sand. Oh, Sometimes it's water on that will beach. squirt out of them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. center the tube over the hole, <clears throat> push it down into the sand, and pull. One bum. All right. If you're quick enough, the clam will be in the sand that comes out of the tube. If not, try, try again. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present? She gave me the design I used to create the keychains I give away to everyone who goes on a Whale World Whale Watch. She was quite the graphic artist. Hey, we complained about the lack of keychains. Oh, keychain. look at that. Yeah, we I do get a keychain. We'll come back around. There we go. Since I took your whale watching tour, I get a free keychain, right? Actually, I only give them to paying customers. Oh, come on. Lame. Now, why did the term false advertising suddenly pop into my head? Okay, okay. Wow. Hey, that was we easy. bullied him into it. Thanks for your time. Have a good one. Take a look at that key, Jay. Wonder what that means. Tren. Tren. So we have old, old one bum. One bum and tren. Tren. Okay. Making progress. Now let's go get some clams. And then we'll do, we'll get our last one. And then we'll figure out what these mean. Put on our helmet. Of course. Always have to. Um, lighthouse, that's over at the lighthouse. lighthouse, right? Yeah. Making our way along the Deception Island coastline with this really jolly music. Okay, let's see. There's, there's one. Nice. No, did, nothing. Nothing. You gotta be fast. Gotta be fast. Yeah, he said if it's too slow, you won't get it. Gotta be fast when I do what? When you pull it out. Let me rephrase. It. Okay. When, when you, there we when go. You, when you pull the plunger on the, um, the top. I don't think I control that speed though. Oh, do you not? No, I just kind of click, click on the thing. That's it. Yuck. You're no clam. Yeah, I don't think I actually have any control over the Very speed. Very well. Maybe then it's just a, a metric of trying enough. I think so. No clams here. We have to get 15 clams. That's a lot of clams. That is many. I, have we already exhausted all the clam spots? What's over here? S S. Maybe this broke off from a ship. How have we never been over here before? That's interesting. It's a whole new area. I... Apparently... 
Apparently, we've already looked in all of the clam spots. Can we relook in the way we did with the crab spots? Clam them. Yuck, you're no clam. Not a no clam. No clam. No clam for you. I don't think so. They're, like, not showing up anymore. Oh, my God. What? I wonder if we have to, like, leave and come back. That'll respawn the clam spots. Like, that's kind of what it seems like. That's, that's annoying. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. This isn't going to give us good clam fodder. What's your clam count? Oh. Oh, there we go. Uh, what's our clam count? Clam count. Hmm. We need 15. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Oh, my God. Okay, I think, no uh... Let's let's cut that's, out some of this. That's fewer than 15. This does not seem like it's going to be the All most right. interesting gameplay loop here. We'll be back. We'll be back with our clams. All, the clams. all right, 15 clams. I'm all set. Whoa! All right, we are back. Um, we got all the clams. We did it. We the did it. Absolute the absolute natural fully way. legitimate way that definitely did not involve having to install a patch from the her interactive website of course not we just went up and down the beach a couple times just a couple times just like once or twice clamors. it was super casual um yeah ap apparently this activity is glitched in glitched? certain versions of the games and so we Not went ours. up and down the beaches and we managed to get i think like nine yep clams out of and the then necessary 15 we just could not find any others there were no other it, it wasn't even there like were they no weren't showing clams. up there were no other spots for us to click on we were out of clams um but we did some research and apparently this is an issue and so there's a patch and so um you go to whale world and you click on this starfish and magically you have clams oh yeah so we can now proceed and go ahead and give jenny her clams Right, Jenna, we got your through much turmoil. Uh oh. Hold up. Uh -oh. There's something important I have to do first. Just gonna do a snoop snoop. I have to snoop. Poker, poker fundamentals. Fundament. Okay, I know this game. I I am well aware of poker. There's um. You ready for this? Maybe. I was in a show called Violet once. Mm hmm And in Violet, there's a song about playing poker, and in it, there it it. Um, like there, there's a line the that talks about the order of the hands. Uh -huh. And I'm going to recite it as we go through. Okay. You got your royal flush, your straight flush, your four of a kind, a full house, a flush, and a straight, and a three of a kind, two pair, one pair, and no pair at all. Oh, it well, didn't even have, even have that, that last piece. But I believe you. I do think that's correct. Well, after, after that, it's two pair, one pair, and no pair at all. And high cards never won a pot. That I can recall. Oh. Um... So kind yeah, fun. learn about poker. Anything else in here? Chest the basics, oh, okay. which we obviously didn't need. Oh, what's Three, that? Three, four, seven, five. That's probably the lighthouse key. Oh, you're right. <clears throat> See, what's interesting is Scotto was the one that wanted us to solve the chess puzzle. So we couldn't have seen this book until after we did that. Unless he let us dig around in his uh, bag, which like probably not. Probably not. I mean, maybe. The, there must have been a way to access this before, but it might be something else that triggers him leaving. Like, oh, he maybe might, was, like the maybe clamming, clamming might trigger was him what leaving. triggered him leaving. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> okay. Is that all that's in his thing? Oh, I guess we got the lighthouse key. That's, yeah. I was like, was it really just two, like, instructional books? <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Thing. Oh, good. You got the clams. Let me take those from you. I'll take that clam tube off your hands, too. You'll never guess what happened. While I was home getting that necklace for you, somebody broke in here. Oh. The sheriff just left. Good lord. Really? What happened? Was anything stolen? What's weird is I'm not only missing food, like bread and eggs and stuff like that, but it looks like they also stole a bunch of tools and some boat parts. Uh, weird. Why do you keep boat parts in your restaurant? Boat parts? Yeah, I, yeah why do you keep boat What's parts more, in your restaurant? Both doors good were question. locked when I got here, and none of the windows were broken. It's like a ghost did it. Oh, right, so someone keys? had access. Would it be okay if I looked around? If you want to play detective, please be my I, guest. Ah, uh, yes, play. If you have any questions, just holler. She doesn't realize that we are Who not just a simple curator. To. Oh, can we go in there? It Probably sounds like not. the party's not try. in there. Oh, maybe, maybe. 
Oh my god. Look at that. Great call. Um okay. Yeah, what's over here? That's strange. What the fact that the There's a menu there and someone knocked over some salt in a restaurant? I, yeah, I don't really know what's okay. so strange about this that's scene. Strange. Here. Not that strange. Not that strange. Oh, more what of these is this panels. Hard thing? Good question. And I said it and the others like it have been on the walls in here since the place was built. We well, still that's gotta be our poker puzzle. We still don't know what to do with these though. Oh, you're right. This is definitely the poker puzzle. I didn't put that together. But I'm not sure like which hand we put in which box. Right, right, yeah. We still don't know how like what we're supposed to do with it. Right. But I do think it's probably related to the book. Though. Right. How do I, oh my which God, means, I'm to turn around. There we in go. theory, we should probably do it pretty soon because they're only going to let us do the poker puzzle when we have access to the poker book. And the poker book's going to become inaccessible when he gets back. So to trigger him coming back, I bet we have to do that puzzle. You know? Oh, you think so? That's my guess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do we know that Hilda Swenson was the mayor? Oh, no, I don't think we did. I don't think I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I knew that Hilda Swenson was the mayor. I honestly don't think I remember. I, I don't think I knew who Hilda Swenson was at all. To be perfectly we, well, honest. Well, we know that she's that older woman. Who right, I, I knew that she was generally... Jenna goes and Jenna goes and visits and like brings groceries to. Right, I knew that she was an older woman, but I didn't really know, like, much know what of... her relevance was. Yeah, the... I just knew that she was like a person here that wants us to send her something from Thank the lighthouse. So, what? Looks like they didn't take all her boat parts. What are you looking at this box here? What are you talking about? Yeah, what? Oh, there's is there's a oh, look down, look down. Boat something. Yeah, there we go. Boat tools and parts. Looks like you do a lot of shopping at Save King. I do all my shopping at Save King. Okay. Any, anything else? In this no? Okay, that's it for that closet, I guess. Okay, that's all for this area back here. Oh. Is this a lunchbox? Match pairs across all three screens. Okay. Okay. Cucumber lemon. Pear bread. I'm gonna embarrass myself doing this. There was a carrot early on, right? Uh -huh. Have we not seen a carrot before? Oh my, wow. Oh, apparently I really not. thought we had, okay. Grapes, turnip oh. we've seen. Um. God, I'm not <clears throat> no, good at these. It's, 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 yeah, there it is. Oh, There nice. aren't that many pears. No. Well, it's at a... Oh, my God. It actually means... Across all... That's annoying. That's impossible. That's a crime. There was a lemon here somewhere. Oh, there we go. And then it was the third one here. There was an... Ice. I'm just going to try to get as many on the same screens as I can to narrow it down first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a potato here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. No, maybe not. Okay. Cucumber we've seen before on the first page. It's one of the first ones. Bread we've also seen. Yeah, we, we, well, we've seen most of these before at this point. The Which sandwich I'm pretty sure page. is here, yeah. Yeah, there is. Okay, and then the other ones I think are all on other pages. That orange slice thing is there. Nice. Yeah. Um, mushrooms Mushroom are on the second page. page. Oh, maybe not. This egg thing is on the second page towards the end-ish. Oh, I Pep, I want to say first page. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Maybe towards the bottom? Uh, that little butt thing is here. That's, oh, no, that's a, that's, there. That's a peach. It looks like a butt. Okay. K 
carrot. carrot first page for sure. Nice. Uh, strawberry, I think, second was... Second page? You think I don't second? think it was the first. There we go. The pie, I think, was the first page and the second. Sunday was definitely second page. There. Muffin was first page, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think you're right. There we go. Cake was second. second page. Um, yep. Nice. Cucumbers first page for sure. One a top row somewhere. I think maybe the first one. You were right. Cheese, Cheese. was second page, I think. No, maybe not. There it is. Okay. Salt and pepper second is page. second page. It was like over here. It was. No, there we go. Um, Garlic? I have no idea where that is. Is that on this page? Yes, yes, it is. Bread was first page. Do you remember where? Um, I want to say it's towards the top. Bananas, second, second page. page. There you go. Turnip was first page. And it was... Bottom? Yeah, I think... There we go. Uh, first page? Drumstick? I don't remember that one very well. Yeah, there you go. And then egg is second page, okay. like over here. There. All right. Third okay, page done. Okay, third page is done. Let's go second page. Ice cream. Is somewhere else here, I think. Yeah, it's all on this page as well. Oh, maybe is not. It not. Wow. I could have sworn. Yeah, me too. That's very surprising. Wow, nice. Oh, there we go. Grapes. Grapes. I want to say on the first page over here. Yeah, there you go. Bowl. That's this page. It's got to be. Legally. <laughs> Legally, it must be. No! That just means they broke the law. All right, that's okay. That happens. Bowl. Pan. It's first page, I think. Nice. Pie, Pie definitely first, first page. page. Yup. Pea pod? The pea pod is the name of Bob Ross's squirrel. Of his squirrel? Yeah. I didn't realize he even had a squirrel. Well, someone's not a real fan. Apparently not. Potato is definitely first page. Nice. That's first page. Spoons. Spoons. Measuring Tomato, spoons. you just did that one. Tomato. Middle. Pear. Nice. Pineapple. It's okay. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. Ella. Ella. The what necklace. Kind of word is that? So we have Elif, one, one, one bum, one bum, and Tren, and Tren. Elif, one. Oh, phone. Telephone, or no? So Elif, phone. Telephone. Well, no, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be tell because it's Tren first. But it would be, but if we do one bum, phone bum. Um. Um. Trend. Hmm. 
Anything else in here? <clears throat> no, but we can go the. So I mean, the dead maybe. fish I saw on the beach were Atlantic herring. Oh, I feel like we've seen that already. We can go to the lighthouse next. We can, yeah. Anything else for Jenna to say, though? Hi, Nancy. How's it going? It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? Okay, let's go. To the lighthouse. Elif. I know, I keep looking at it. Phone. Okay, what was the code? Three, four, seven, five. We're criminals. <laughs> We're trespassing. Oh, there's a lever here. I don't know what that just did. Well, when you see a lever, you gotta flip the lever. That's just gotta. the rules of being a detective. Let's go. That's Detective 101, baby. Oh yeah, we're here. Looks like someone's been up here recently. Someone messy. Someone messy. Go, go, Kringle Bar. That's today. I wonder why it's circled. Looks like the bulb's missing. Oh. It's not good. Do we have a bulb? I don't think we have a bulb. We have a sandwich. Well. Is that anything? It's our death, I think. Oh, Morse code. I should do dots and dashes for the whole thing. I should do dots and dashes for the whole thing. Five. Oh. Oops, I need to put in my area code and my number. What? What's happening? Oh, put in your phone number. Why would we put in our phone number? Because maybe she'll, that's the message and then she'll call you. Why would I think to do that, though? I don't know, but she said to do it. No, I know that she did, but okay. Five, two, three. Five, two, three. Um, do, do, have we found like a Morse code guide anywhere in this game? Um, I think in the computer, but you want me to just look it up? Um, oh, you're right. We did find it in the computer, but yeah, yeah we should just look it up. All right. Morse code numbers. I should do dots and dashes. All right. Two oh, is dot, dot, dot my dash, dash, dash. Code and my number. Dot dot dash dash Two. dash. Three is dot dot dash dash dot 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 dash dash. Oops. Three. Five is just five dots. Five. 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 Four is four dots and a dash. Four. Three is three dots and two dashes. Three. And nine is four dashes and a dot. It's two of those. Nine. <clears throat> nine. Send it. Send. Nothing happens. Some part of the system must not be working. Maybe the bulb. Dang. Yeah, almost certainly the bulb. If I had to make a random guess out of guess. nowhere. I wouldn't even call that an educated guess. Um, okay, I guess we got to go find a bulb. What was this switch for? Anything else in here? I don't see anything. This thing just bing, bing, binging away. Oh, that that's what the switch did. It opened oh, up this secret door. Yeah. Oh, spooky. Yeah, this music's getting really spooky. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Look at that. 
eight of them? You have to pick one? Are there differences between these? There have to be. Okay. Hmm. Wonder why that's there. Though the efforts of many built the wall seen here. Snake. Camel? Though, that's weird. It's like half of a riddle. Yeah. Though the efforts of many built the wall seen here, Blank. something else. Is that a trap? Yeah. Okay. Why would you want to go in there? No reason. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, now let's go back up there. It's rusted shut. It's rusted shut. What? Do I have like rust, rust remover? Rust? It's rusted shut. Well, that bulb's no good. Oh, okay. How do I know which bulb it is? Do I have to just check them all? That's insane. That can't be the that correct. That can't be right. It's rusted shut. There must be some literature it's shut. on how to recognize a bad bulb or something. I feel like we're like not supposed to be here yet or something. Well, but we could get the code. We could get what code? To the lighthouse. Oh yeah, we got the lighthouse code, but it seems like there's a lot of other stuff that we're missing. We don't have any way to recognize the right bulbs. We don't have anything that can right, right. open the thing that's rusted shut. There's just a lot of missing pieces. Yeah, maybe. Look, well, yeah, I was gonna say let's check it with Katie. Yeah, this this music is not stopping. I know. This is the crazy. new music of this game. What's up? I found this piece of wood on the beach. There's something strange about it. What do you mean? Let's see it. Ouch, those splinters are sharp. That is odd. It looks like it's been in the water a long time, but if that were the case, those edges would be dull. That looks like it broke off of something just recently. That's exactly what I was thinking. Any idea where it came from? Could be off a cargo ship, I guess. But you know who you should ask? Casey Porterfield. He works at the Maritime Library in Port Townsend. You should give him a call. His number is 360-555-3095. He loves checking out stuff like this. Okay. That makes See you, you in a bit. From her Be careful out it. there. Oh, right, because it's rude to call when There's I'm there. There's anyone who could hear you. Casey Porterfield. Hello, Casey. Are you there? Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, Hi Casey. my name is Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone suggested I give you a call. Katie who? Katie Firestone? Never heard of her. Oh. I know a marine biologist named Katie Firestone. What? Yes, that's her. I'm staying with her here in Snake Horse Harbor. Oh, well then what can I do for you? Remember, Snake Horse Harbor is a really weird name for a location. That's true. But Deception Island is a normal name for a location. Incredibly normal. Could not be more normal. She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now if it said SS, which stands for steamship, that'd be different. Wait, that's uh, what SS actually, is? Actually, that is what it says. I didn't know that. Oh, well then it came from a <clears> ship. <throat> or should I say shipwreck? What kind of wood is it? I don't know. Old? <laughs> Sorry, for a second there, I thought you said old. Actually, uh, that is what I said. You're about as much use as a beanie in a hurricane. Look, oh, if you want me to you. tell you what shipwreck that wood came from, you're gonna have to tell me what kind of wood it is. But I have no idea. Well, you just get yourself a book on wood and figure it out. Maybe Katie has one. Soon as you do, call me back. I love checking out stuff like this. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, no. Hey, Katie, do you have a book on wood? What's up? 
See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Well, let's go check Very her well. her library. She does have one of those. Gotta be something about wood. Um. Okay. Well. Um. Oh, I don't know if this book is for me, but maybe if I give Dr. Predovicu a call, she can help me out. Oh yeah, the what, what, what am I? She offers free consultation. Yeah, because we did that quiz. <laughs> Unwood identification. Oh my god, that's silly. That's super silly. This is Dr. Predovicu. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'd like some help identifying this piece of wood I found. I'd be happy to assist. Do you have our mailing address? Well, that's the problem. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible to identify it over the phone? Certainly. Just hold it up to the phone for a couple of seconds, and I'll take a reading. Is she I'm kidding, joking? Okay. I usually don't do this over the phone, but I'll give it a try. You will, however, need to take a look at your sample under a microscope. Oops, I better go do that. I'll call you right back. All right. A All microscope? right, microscope. Um, below deck, right? It's right oh, here. Right here. Never, never you mind. Wh where's the wood? Oh, you it's already it there. Silly. One slice of wood. Okay. We got our, we got our wood. One glass slide. We got our slide. There. This is gonna look so cool bada under bing, the microscope. Bada boom. Let's have a look. All right, so we got some dots. We got some some oh. slats. We got right some like a red and a, a green a, a, color a, a, and some like brown maroon reddish brown dots in like groups of one, two, or three, in different constellations. In different constellations. That's a good way to describe it. Thanks. Irina Predovicu speaking. Hi, this is Nancy Drew again. I've got the sample all ready. All right, we'll get started. Where did you find this wood? It's a piece of driftwood, probably used for a crate. Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? It's mostly brown, brown of those three. Brown brown or brown reddish? Brown, brown reddish. reddish. Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? A lot. Many. Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're they were all the, all the same, same size, size, right? Yeah. They're all the same size. Okay. And the holes are really, really tiny, right? Um, I mean, I'd they were under a microscope, so it's hard to really say, but... I'd say they're pretty sizable, right? They're really, really tiny. No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. Are there any distinguishable horizontal lines yes. on the sample? Yes. Yes, there are horizontal lines. If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. It's fairly common in plywood, but it's a rainforest timber, so it's declining in popularity. Luan. Luan. All right. Thanks Luan. for your help. Glad to have been of service. Do you okay. Feel, do we feel good about that diagnosis? I think we feel good about that. Okay. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before about the driftwood. Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew, Katie Firestone's friend. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Luan. Luan. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, well, okay, I'll be then. taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. I really appreciate your doing this for me, Casey. And well, you should. All right. Well, I guess we'll find out about that soon. For now, let's just move on. Anything What's else? Up? No. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. Nothing else from Katie. What's up? Oh, no. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. 
Nothing else from Katie. Can we go? Do we think there might be something to to do to talk to at Whale World? Maybe. Do we, we can, think we maybe can give it a our try? Bro? Hi, Nancy. Just a quick update. <laughs> but you know what? I think we're going to have to tell Andy about this next time. Ooh. Get get the give him the download on what happened at the hot kettle and see what he has to say for himself. Uh-oh. But anyway, we will pick up there next time and see where things go from here. We'll see you then. All right. Bye.